What is going on everybody? Thank you so much for tuning in. My name is John. Today I have for you a big box good. The Under Armour Men's Half Sip Tech Pullover and the Under Armour Men's Half Sip Fleece Pullover I picked up at Dick's Sporting Goods. Today we're doing a first impressions and try on. Dick's Sporting Goods is one of the best places to find athletic apparel whether that be during Christmas time or for Hanukkah or for really any other part of the year, Dick's Sporting Goods always keeps a phenomenal selection of athletic apparel. Simple things like shorts, t-shirts, pullovers like we have in front of us here today. This time last year, I reviewed four different t-shirts for Under Armour that I bought obviously at Dick's Sporting Goods because they just had such a phenomenal selection. So. This year, instead of t-shirts, let's take a look at some uh, pullovers, fleece, and tech. We'll talk about the difference between each and, of course, try things on to see how well they fit. Thank you so much for tuning in. Let's get into this first impressions and try on. To begin, this is the Under Armour Men's Half Zip Fleece Pullover. So depending on which size and which color you get or which finish and style, depends on how much you pay. So this was $60. This is the upper end. This is the nicer shirt. You can get them on sale for roughly $37, $40. And I've even seen these shirts go up towards $70. So neon green, this is an attractive color. This is a color that draws attention actually if you're running, jogging in the road, things of that nature, working out and need people to see you, cars, uh, passer buyers. Uh, people on motorcycles, bicycles, things like that. This is the fleece. Not sure if you can tell, but uh, compared to actually the tech, first of all, I think you can tell the fleece is bigger and that's because it's a thicker material. So folding it, uh, it just folds larger compared to the tech, which is almost like a spandex cotton fabric mix. So it's a little bit smaller, can be uh, compressed down just a little bit more. But this actually, even though my first sort of take back is that it does look like a color a woman might wear, this does not look like a men's color. It's almost like a grape. Um, I have seen a color close to this being worn by a woman at a gym before. Uh, this was $40. This is extra large. Like I said, Depending on what size and finish you get and color, uh, these shirts can go up to roughly $70. This is a really nice and well-made and good quality shirt. So two different shirts here. We've got the fleece and we have the tech. So the tech, like I said, is like a spandex cotton fabric mix and the fleece, obviously a much thicker, warmer, uh, softer material. This I expect to fit loosely. This I expect to fit just a little bit tighter, but uh, let's go ahead and try them on and see what the major difference is. Okay, first impressions. Obviously the half zip is in reference to the zipper running halfway down the chest. It's extremely comfortable. It feels lightweight, breathable, flexible, maybe just a tad on the short side. As you might be able to make out, it's just a little bit cramped in the shoulders here. My shoulders, I think, look just a little bit uh, bulbous perhaps, and that's because it feels just a little bit tight and like there isn't enough material. I think if there had been more material, more room in the shoulders, this would look just a little bit looser and maybe even just a little bit uh, more form-fitting actually, which is contrary to what you might uh, assume because it does look tighter. Like I said, it's a nice, comfortable, breathable shirt. So as you might be able to tell, I wear this without an undershirt. Now, first thing is first, it's a tighter shirt. I think you can see my features a little bit more predominantly because this is a tight shirt. Had I worn an undershirt, potentially a little bit more cramped, like I said, it's already cramped in the shoulders, uh, and maybe even under the armpits as well, just flexing my arms here. But uh, with that being said, the reason I don't wear an undershirt is actually to get a good idea as to how comfortable the fabric is. So, like I said, it's like a cotton spandex material. It does stretch somewhat, but not like your typical spandex would stretch. So, uh, unlike a pair of Under Armour 
underpants or maybe slides that you would wear underneath your gym shorts, uh, this does still have some structure to it because it has cotton inside. Now, speaking of how comfortable the material is, because I'm not wearing an undershirt, can this be worn without an undershirt? And the answer to that is absolutely positively so. Extremely soft to the touch, comfortable, no itching or scratching. What's actually nice about this shirt is no tag on the inside from what I can tell. Because it does tend to run just a little bit smaller and be just a little bit more form fitting, uh, I think it encourages good form and good posture. Uh, what you'll notice actually is it does tend to show my stomach protruding here. Now, I am not a fat person. I'm thin, I'm well built, but looking down, I can actually see my stomach sort of sticking out a little bit. So definitely not a shirt to be worn casually, even though you could. Uh, definitely for working out, I think it encourages good form. Now, my biggest concern was that this shirt would be more feminine and less masculine due to the fact it's more of a feminine type color. It's grape, it's almost like a wine, something that I would see a woman wearing at the gym. Now, what makes this comfortable to wear and what makes it masculine is one of two features. I think you'll notice the Under Armour logo is actually black. Had this been a feminine shirt or a shirt made for a woman, I think it would have been maybe a light purple or a pink or even a white Under Armour logo. You'll also notice one other feature and that is the zipper pull. It almost looks black, but actually looking closely, it's dark purple. Now, like I said earlier, had the Under Armour logo been a purple or a light purple or a pink or a white, that would have looked feminine. But because even though the zipper pull is purple, it's darker than the rest of the shirt, that in turn, I think makes it masculine. Now, as you may remember from the beginning of this segment, my initial complaint was the lack of space in the shoulders and actually uh, extending my arm, you can see that the sleeve retracts down my forearm. I am someone who prefers the sleeve actually over my wrist at all times. So extra material is always welcome, especially underneath the armpits. It feels just a little bit tight, but what also makes this shirt just a little bit uncomfortable is perhaps I'm doing pull-ups or maybe jumping jacks at the gym if I stand directly or perfectly upright, you'll notice that the tail of the shirt raises off the waist, allowing you to see perhaps my undergarments and even the belt of my shorts. Now, even though you don't wear a belt at the gym, uh, just for lack of a better term, the tail of the shirt is so small that it actually raises off my waist if I raise my arms. So what I would have liked to have seen is First and foremost, just a little bit more material in the shoulders, but as it pertains to this particular criticism, I would have liked to have seen a longer tail. Perhaps I could have tucked this shirt in and I think it would have been more appropriate in the gym doing things, of course, like jumping jacks or simple pull-ups. Okay, so now that we've taken a look at the Tech Half Zip Pullover, let's take a look at the fleece half zip pullover, both by Under Armour. This shirt was $60. Not sure if that's because it's fleece and a thicker material or because it's a neon green, which is actually the better color to have if you're someone who likes to jog in the street or walk in the street or work out maybe in the middle of a city. This shirt, having compared it now to the tech pullover, fleece, I can tell you, is much warmer. It's actually softer, I think you could imagine, uh, on the inside. Uh, the fabric, I think, actually on the tech is probably softer overall. It is just a little bit fuzzier, creates a little bit friction. This shirt, less friction, but it makes up for the softness because, of course, it's fleece. So the first point I need to make is this shirt and the shirt prior are pretty much exactly the same. The zipper, as you can see, is the exact same length. This also zips up the entire way. The Under Armour logo is the exact same size. It's in the exact same place. It's also black. And most importantly, even though it's a different material, extending my arm, you can see that this shirt has the exact same features. 
I know it does because the sleeve, just like on the Tech half zip, retracts down my forearm, even though I am someone who would prefer it at the wrist. You can actually feel it's roughly the same underneath the armpits here and the shoulders. Just a little bit more space, but that's because it's fleece and the structure of the shirt is different. The fourth point I need to make in reference to the structure is as you can see, the inseam at the shoulder here actually, like I said, gives it its structured look and actually gives it just a tad more space in the shoulders. I think you might remember the half zip tech was sort of bulbous. It actually sort of rolled around the shoulder as where this almost looks like a suit, not entirely like a suit, but because of this inseam here at the arm, it does give it more structure and actually a more angular look at the top of the shoulder. So slightly different look and appearance and build quality, but for the most part, exactly the same fit. Now the biggest point I need to make, the biggest difference is of course inside the shirt because this is fleece, it feels just a little bit drier. It feels warmer. The other shirt in turn was almost porous. Like you could sweat through it. It was like it breathed on its own. It was a living, breathing type of fabric. This is completely enclosed and actually is warm on the inside. So the other shirt, great for if you're running in the heat, it breathes. It's a reverse osmosis effect. This shirt, I think more advantageous if you're running in a colder environment, it contains the sweat and perspiration and overall keeps your body drier and keeps you warmer so that you can run in inclement conditions, whether that be in the rain or in the snow or just in the cold in general. And just like the tech earlier, this I think could also benefit from just a tad bit more material, just a longer tail, I think, doing some simple pull-ups or maybe jumping jacks. As you can tell, the shirt actually raises off the waist potentially showing my undergarments or my belt line, which like I said, would make me feel more secure had this had a longer shirt tail. Now, like I said, what makes this shirt different from the tech is the tech is porous. It's almost like reverse osmosis. It breathes. It's almost a living being thing on its own. This in turn is dry and warm. It's definitely more suited towards a colder or less inclement condition or wet environment. So instead of using the tech zip in the rain or in the snow, uh, sweating in it, it's great. Obviously wearing the tech, if it's hot, you want to breathe, you want, you know, water transferring outside the shirt and back into the shirt. Uh, but with something like this fleece or running in the cold, you want to contain that sweat to keep you from freezing. So this shirt, like I said, it's drier, it's warmer. But the last point here I need to make is, as you can see, because it's fleece, the print is somehow exactly the same. It's almost this sort of halo heather look. It's got some white in there. It looks almost kind of fuzzy. Let's take a look at the half zip tech pullover. And last but not least, even though both shirts are the exact same style, both have the exact same zipper pull length and actually construction, you'll actually also notice that the Under Armour logo is in the exact same position and the exact same size. The major difference is, of course, the fleece looks bolder, and that is because it needs the thicker piping to keep it warmer and better closed off. So like I said, even though I've said this quite a few times. This is for colder environments, definitely keeps you warm and dry on the inside as where this one looks just a little bit thinner. It's also smaller and that's because it's of course uh, spandex and cotton mixed together. So I think you'll notice here that even though they're the exact same style, uh, that in large part is because of the zipper pull and the placement of the Under Armour logo, you'll of course notice that the fleece looks bolder and that's because it is bolder and that's because it's meant to keep you warmer compared to the tech which is to be worn if it's hot. 
Anyways, guys, that has been a first impressions and try on of the men's half sip pullover I picked up at Dick's Sporting Goods, which of course are good options, which make a good idea for gift options this holiday shopping season. My biggest complaint was of course at an extra large, which is what I normally wear, both felt just a little bit on the smaller side. Had I gone for an extra, extra large, I think that would have been a little bit more appropriate, especially for the tech, which like I said, is a spandex cotton fabric mix. I thought it was just a little bit on the shorter side, felt just a little bit short in the sleeve and just a little bit short in the tail. Also a little bit tight underneath the armpits and in the shoulder. Then again, I might be biased because this in turn can be the style and fit of the shirt. Had I gone for an extra, extra large in the fleece, it may have been just actually a little bit too big. Uh, one of my biggest complaints, I think you may remember, was that maybe doing push-ups or sit-ups or pull-ups at the gym, the tail could have been a little bit longer, and because of that, in those types of situations, this shirt raises off the waist, showing your waist, showing your undergarments, and showing your belt line. That, I in turn, remedied because as you might remember in the impressions or review or close up, however you want to refer to it, this actually has a longer tail at the back of the shirt. Now the take back or biggest criticism here with this first impressions is I think you may remember the tail actually on the tech is the same on both the front and the back. So not sure why the back of the tail on the fleece is longer. Maybe it's because the build is different because of the fabric, but I think uh, to drive this review home, I think just a little bit on the smaller side, I would have liked to have seen uh, a little bit more material used underneath the armpits and in the shoulders on both pullovers. Uh, and the downside I think is having to go up an extra size that may or may not work depending on just the overall fit and performance of the shirt. So. You let me know in the comment section below if you bought this shirt, what you think. The good news here, both shirts are extremely comfortable. No difference in if you choose the fleece or the tech. Like I said, the fleece is definitely for colder environments. The tech is for warmer environments, but because this is spandex and cotton and because this is fleece, neither are more comfortable than the other. Both are extremely comfortable. They fit well, actually. I think. I might be just a little bit biased. Uh, I think the performance of the shirt is largely based on how it's built and meant to be worn. Uh, like I said, not for casual wear, for exercise use only, uh, and that is in large part due to the way that each fit. So the quality I think you noticed is exceptional on both examples. No thread sticking out or pulling or any itching or scratchiness on the inside. That is in large part due to uh, the many years of experience Under Armour has in designing these shirts for people who work out and who like to be athletic. So with that being said, great shirts, phenomenal quality, also a great price. Uh, the biggest downside, like I said, for me was the sizing. Going up a size, it's a little bit hard to say because it might be just a little bit too big for the fleece. Definitely for the tech, I would go up a size, but for the fleece, it might be just a little bit too, too material or too materialistic, excuse me. It might be just a little bit too boxy, actually, trying to find a word to describe, actually. Uh, but with that being said, both are great shirts or pullovers, and both are the exact same style. I think you saw the minor differences between each two. The fleece looks just a little bit bolder and that's because it's meant, like I said, for colder conditions, where the tech is meant for warmer conditions. So I hope you enjoyed this first impressions and try on. My name is John. If you wanna see more content like this, hit that like button, subscribe, because I picked these shirts up at Dick's Sporting Goods that makes them a big box good. Anyways, guys, and that has been a first impressions and try on because I picked these shirts up at Dick's Sporting Goods that makes them a big box good. Be sure to hit that like button, subscribe, share this video with friends and family, and comment below what you think or if you have any questions. My name is John. Thanks again so much for tuning in. I will see you in the next video.